here we will see equipotential surface for a few charge distributions. First thing is our charge is in the shape of a point charge. First we will draw an electric field for point charge electric field is radially outward. Then draw perpendicular to it. Radius to perpendicular is a circular shape. So this is right angle, right angle, right angle. If we take equal distance, make right angle, join all the points, we know in geometry it is a sphere. So this is sphere 1, sphere 2, sphere 3. This has got voltage 1, all the points, voltage 2, all the points, voltage 3, all the points and here voltage 1 is more than voltage 2 is more than voltage 3. So all these are equipotential surfaces. It has got higher potential, lower potential, lower potential, electric field is out. So if electric charge is point charge, then field E is radial and V is equipotential surface is spherical. Okay, this. Now, we come to if our charge is given on an infinite line, line charge, then how is the electric field? This is the electric field. This we have done earlier. Electric field acts as a bottle brush. Electric field, radial out like bottle brush. Now, where are equipotential surfaces? Draw normal to this. At equal R, there is one circle. Every point has got same potential. But for this charge, same R, all this circle has got same potential. For this charge, at same R, all points have got the same potential. Now, if we join all these points together, what do we get? We get a cylindrical surface. This cylindrical surface, this cylindrical surface about this line has equal distance from the line. So potential at every point of this surface is equal and that will be an equipotential surface. Similarly, for a smaller r, we can draw this equipotential surface and there will be many equipotential surface, one above that other, above that another one like this. If this is charged line, then this is one equipotential surface. This is another equipotential surface. So all these cylinders are equipotential surface. Cylindrical surface. And this cylindrical surface, this is common axis. Okay. This is for line charge. Now we come to another electric field. This electric field is well known to you. We call it symmetrical electric field or uniform electric field. Uniform electric field. And this is symmetrical. Okay. If this is a uniform electric field, then how will be the equipotential? Draw perpendicular. And everywhere you will find this surface is perpendicular to the electric field. Normal, 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 all sides. So these are the arrows which are representing electric field. And this is the surface which is equipotential surface because it is fulfilling the condition of 90 degree on the surface. So, these are known as plane equipotential. Plane equipotential. If it is a uniform electric field, then distance of the equipotentials will also be same and all will have same potential. V, V, V. Okay, so all will have same potential along the uniform electric field. These are equipotential surface and uniform electric field. If our electric field is radially outward, then 
these are the convex shape of potential and this we have done v1 v2 v3 v1 is more than v2 is more than v3 these are known as convex and these are uh, concave actually we don't use convex and concave we say it is diverging of course physical shape is convex and these are converging red one is equipotentials and the black one is electric field so these are a few shapes of shapes of equipotentials there are two very important shapes and those are for dipoles if there are two charges plus plus and there are two charges minus minus and now we will see what will be the equipotentials for those two thank you